So, Fanfara, the Polish prince, has split from long-term trainer to come aboard Virgil Hunter's gym under Virgil Hunter's tutelage. Let me tell you something. Fanfara has always been a, a, a good fight favorite of mine's. Um, I think he's a highly underrated fighter. I know he lost to uh, uh, Smith Jr. Uh, in his last fight, knockout lost in the first round. Um, I, you know, my heart goes out to him. I felt he just made a defensive lapse in error. And um, unfortunately, he he tasted defeat in that way. But this is a win-win all around. Because not only does Fanfara get in my top three trainers right now today in boxing, the, the toolage from that trainer, he also is going to be helping out Andre Ward in sparring. I mean, the length is going to be great for Andre Ward to get used to. Um, the, the length of jab, learning how to fight against a tall fighter. Um, it's just going gonna, gonna to be an excellent, excellent uh, uh, marriage, so to speak, from both ends. And you know what? If, the, if you were going to ask me, hey, if he rematches Smith Jr. again, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to give it to Funfara. To beat Smith Jr. again. I mean, especially now with Virgil in his, his corner. Now, listen, I'm not saying Virgil is the end all and be all, but the one thing Virgil teaches his fighters to do is think. Um, you know, I felt Funfar is more of an offensive guy first. And with some little minor tweaks here and there, I think that under Virgil Hunter, we're going to see a, a more patient Funfar. We're going to see a, a better defensively responsible Funfar. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to see somebody who knows how to who will be, you know, using his length a lot better. You know, I've always often felt that from far, you know, he fights unnecessary fights, like he fights that he could easily win with his jab. He's got a decent jab. Um, he's got great hooks. He 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 throws wicked uppercuts. I just think that uh, from far, you know, and he's fought some top level guys. So at the end of the day. I think this is a great move by Fanfara. Will it propel Fanfara to number one status in the division? You know, who knows? This remains to be seen. I'm going to say how likely he won't. He'll probably always be a, just a tough, rugged fighter for the top guys. He's going to give anybody hell on any night. Um, but like I said, I mean, I, I, I can't wait to see what the Polish prince has, man. I, I Again, like I said, I, he's one of my faves. I like watching this guy. He brings the fight. Every fight he's in is exciting. And, um, you know, shit. Fuck it. If I were, you know, the Polish prince, I'd, you know, sit there and soak up all that knowledge he's going to get in Virgil Hunter's uh, gym. Uh, you know, he's going to be working with one of the best in Andre Ward. Um, and, uh, you know what, to, uh, from far, who from far is personally... I'm going to tell you something right now. Fanfara is, rumor has it, Fanfara is one of the realest dudes out there. Okay? He's not somebody who talks a lot. You don't hear him in a lot in the news or in the media. But it's been reported that Fanfara is one of the realest cats out there. He is a down-to-earth dude who gets along with a lot of uh, top-tier fighters. He supports them. And, you know, he's, he's just a genuine guy. So, for me... So far, congratulations getting with Virgil Hunter. Sometimes you need to grow. And in order to grow, change is necessary. It's your boy Questex. I'm out.